Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee, 3 Dragon here, bringing you another Lego Super Heroes review on the exclusive to Lego Shop and uh, Random Store. I don't know what the store is quite yet, but this is the, the Dynamic Duo Funhouse Escape. Very long, tedious name. This set is ages 7 through 14, set number 6857, and contains 380 pieces and retails for 30, no, 40 US dollars. So this is actually almost a 10 cents a piece, which is very nice. Here's a look at your box, the same size as the uh, Batwing battle over Gotham City, Batman symbol, and there's the back real quickly. Um, I don't have enough room to show you guys, but let's get on to, well, um, first off, the comic book. It's actually comic book number one, very oddly. Um, I'm not going to show you it because that would take way too long, and you get one instruction manual, kind of surprising. I thought you would have gotten multiples, but the instruction manual here is 74 pages of building and there's just the various ads in the back. So let's get on to the set that comes with very cool minifigures. To start off with our first minifigure is Blue Costume Batman. He This is the um, only set besides the Batcave I believe you can get this exact version of Batman in. So very cool and he's got that torso print there, double sided face like all the others and he's got double sided torso if you can see that there. And he also comes with a Batarang, so that's very cool. Here is red, red, predominantly red and black costume Robin. I like this Robin uh, so much better than the old one. I actually had the old Robin. I don't have it with me, but um, this one looks so much better. Um, I really like his costume. It has a really cool look to it. He's got that black cape that we've seen on Batman before. And he does have double-sided printing, like most of the figures in this line. And Robin has his uh, normal face and his scared face on the back. I wish they could have put like a human face on the back, um, but that's okay. Um, Robin's a really cool minifigure. He's got a new hair piece and he really looks fantastic. So that's a very cool figure to get. You get another Joker. He also comes in the Batwing Battle over Gotham City. Same Joker. He's got this uh, interesting looking walkie-talkie kind of thing there. So that's kind of cool. Exclusive figure, Harley Quinn. Oh, by the way, Robin's only in the Batcave also. But Harley Quinn is exclusive. She's brand new. She's got a face there, and it's also double printed. She's got her Harlequin, Harley Quinn, get the pun. I am, I'm not actually making that pun up. That's a real pun that they, I think, purposely intended. Um, then there, there's the back there, so she looks pretty decent. And then my favorite figure in the set is the Riddler. He really looks pretty cool. He's one of my favorite Batman villains, and I really like the way they designed him. He has a brand new hat um, for LEGO System. Um, it was on the series uh, 5 Clown Dude, but um, this is brand new for an actual LEGO set. And um, it's very cool. It's got a question mark there. That's his face. It's not double-sided. Um, he does have back printing. If it was double-sided, you could actually see it on the other side, so that would be kind of terrible. Uh, Har uh, Joker's face is double-sided, by the way, too. Um, then he has a crowbar, so that's kind of cool. So really nice minifigure lineup with this set. So let's move those buddies out of the way and get on to the various things you get. Now, here you have this really crappy bat cycle. I don't know what LEGO was thinking in designing this. I like the design they went with this here. It's also seen on Zane's vehicle and Ninjago. But besides that, this thing really sucks. Um, the back here, it's, it's, it's just the back looks weird. The front looks terrible. And, I mean, it's just jumbled. It's like dark blue half the way. There's a sticker there. Then it's black half the way. So they're, like, not quite... You know, I don't think they know exactly which one they're making. And then when Batman sits on it, it makes it look worse. It just looks terrible from the front. Um, I don't think LEGO really thought about anything while they were designing this set. This could have been, or designing this motorcycle. This could have been home with uh, so much better. Um, it's kind of like a mixture of the one in the Dark Knight and just the normal bat cycle that comes in the Batcave. And I really think it didn't pay off very well and LEGO did a pretty crappy job. So I really don't like this cycle. That could have been a whole lot better. Now let's get on to the set. This set is decent. Um, I'm not going to say it's good or great. It's pretty cool, and there's a lot of playability, which I'll get to uh, right now, I guess. So here's what it looks like from the front. Um, there's a crazy, creepy-looking Joker head up there. There's also a sign that says Danger, and uh, here, if I can move this hammer, that one says Watch Out. Down here, there's another Riddler head. I guess it's like Riddler's little hiding space or something. I don't really know exactly why that's there. And then over here there's absolutely nothing. So that's really, really great. And there's a lot of playability to get to, so let's get to it pretty quickly. First off, you get this little cool purple barrel, nice piece, and it has a fish and two random green studs, green uh, cylinders in there. And you put that there, and basically the first feature I'll get to is this one here with this nice rope piece. You're supposed to take 
uh, Robin and put him on the end of this and then over here this little crank here you can just move that up and down you probably saw that thing fall over there you can move a, move Robin up and down and lower him into the pot so he can drown or something I don't know that's kind of crazy kind of a weird feature um, the next feature I'll get on to Robin will be our test dummy for today um, you walk up here and you Robin's made it to the weird little section and you trap door him which is pretty cool um, so that's kind of a neat little feature if you can see how that works down here the track door and you actually just push it back in and it will completely go up So I thought that was kind of cool Another really random feature. This one doesn't really have much purpose. I guess it's Joker's little plan to put them off balance or something um, This little thing you just twist it and the Robin figure will go back and forth Which is kind of odd Moving on to the features over here. Um, I'll just leave that here. It keeps on falling off uh, basically, this is probably the better one, one of the better ones. What you do is you just get this, and it hits the figure, and they pop off. And right after I say it's a good feature, it doesn't work. There, it worked a little bit better there. Um, so that's kind of cool. Or you could also just use the little switch behind her. You don't actually have to push it. And then probably the best part of this set. Well, first off, you can see the really cool track. I knew about all of you knew that this comes with this. My only problem is the track. It like doesn't weigh much down here, so it kind of just stays off the ground, um, which really annoys me. But there's a interesting looking Joker head there, and then basically up here, uh, yeah, those things, those things fall off so much, and this thing keeps on just doing itself. It's basically like you know going down constantly, which is really annoying me. That's my probably my biggest complaint with this set. So basically, what you do is uh, I won't use Joker this time. I'll use Harley Quinn. So basically, what you do is you put a figure in here, and you push the little peg back here. And they fall and go through the little Joker dick gate and come out the end. So that's uh, my quick review here on the Joker's Funhouse Escape. Not my favorite set in the world. I wouldn't really highly recommend it. I'm going to give it a 6.25 uh, out of 10. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.